What's up guys, Purified Magnet here with a quick tutorial over how to set up your Nightbot with the commands of custom command and a timer. Okay, let's go and start this. Alright, let's get under the custom commands. As you can tell, I don't have a custom command and I want to make one for my channel link. As always you want to use the exclamation mark because this is how you activate your command. And I like to keep my commands really simple. Uh, I'm not going to put my link. I don't think I have it. Oh I do. Never mind. Then. Well you get the idea then. Now for your user level, I like to set this for moderators because I don't like having a lot of people having access to the command so they don't spam it, you know. And now I want to set the cooldown rate for around 20 seconds because that seems about right. If I can get it. Oh well. And for this bottom part right here, you can ignore and hit submit and you have yourself a custom command. Now, if you don't have time to type in your commands and you want to make them automatic after so many people say something in a chat, you can set up a timer. And I think this is really helpful. Now, as you can tell, I don't have one. So, I need a timer for my same command I just created. Like always, you want to put your exclamation mark. And I like keeping things simple. So, and this is the message that will be said, like always, with the custom command the link now your intervals some people vary from how long they like to wait when it's repeated but I like to put it for around five minutes depending on how many chat lines you have so I'm gonna set it for around 20 hmm Never mind, let's set it for 25 and change the minutes to 10. Seems better. Hit submit and you're finished. So the idea is that once you make a custom command, you can edit it, copy all the information, put it in your timer, and if you don't have anyone to help you post the link in your live chat, this should automatically do it for you so you don't have to worry and if you don't want Nightbot to automatically post it you can always click the disable button and under the status instead of having a blue button that says enable it should show this gray button that says disable so there you go guys hope you enjoyed